making pictures fall. Got three cell phones, but I quit trapping last fall. But I still ball ho, I'm a rocket. I keep bands up in my pocket. Graduated to a socket. I got diamonds in my locket. So we're back. So, um, as again, many men know I got a big thing for threes. Like, threes is like my favorite. It can't. It can't be no no off brand color. It can't be no um any uh you know any any Jordan that any three Jordan didn't play in or any three that wasn't uh you know a part of the original way. I ain't really crazy about. But these bad boys, I couldn't pass the blend because they're similar to the uh 88s. The big difference is um you know the free throw markers on the bottom. Got the uh, 147 across the top. But that's besides the point. We're doing the, the comparisons. Um, this one right here is the retail. That's the 11. And then the UA, which is from my homeboy Jack. It's the 11 and a half over here on the right. Um, Yeah, uh, I must say, uh, one of my big things is that, that I noticed on... Um, uh, Nike UAs, which is very interesting. Me and my, my homeboy, we uh we came to, uh had a conversation about this that uh, the Elevens, or for some reason the higher sizes or sizes in general, um they're almost a, a half a size off. I think I, I spoke about that on one of the previous reviews, but that's you know besides the point. Um, this eleven and a half fits great. Uh, but let's go into the uh, details. So. Uh, again, this is Jack's pair right here. I'm going to take one and uh, compare one. So we have a retail versus UA. This is Jack's. So as you can see, it's a little bit bigger, but eh, that's not a big deal. Uh, now, here we go from here on the retail. If you look at the elephant print, the elephant print is a little bit more defined and more uh, detailed on the uh, retail. Opposed to the uh, UA, is it's defined, but it's just... Um, it's not as, it's not as, uh, it's almost like a copy, if you get what I mean. But something like that is not going to really, you know, cause a, a draw, a huge shock, unless you have that side-by-side, -side, a comparison and shit like that. But uh, overall, in my opinion, the shoe is great. The shoe is amazing. You know, um, again, if you're if you're the type of person that's using this for, you know, just having your collection, this, you know, kind of completed collection to give you a completion of saying that you have these. These are uh, a damn good shoe. Um, uh, the leather actually, actually on, on the uh, UA is better and softer on the UA than it is on the retail. The retail is a little bit more stiffer. Um, as you can see, that's what the one shoe that has it, but this is the... Uh, the UA has it as well. So, but if we're doing, you know, a side-by-side -side comparison, you really can't tell much different. Like, obviously, you can see this, like we were already talking about. We could tell with the um, the print. And then if you look at the Nike sign, the Nike sign is a little bit higher up. And maybe the spacing is a little bit wider. Um, this is the... The retail the space down the retail is a little bit more wider versus this is a little bit more narrower. It's kind of narrow, but other than that, the details are all the same. Um, let me make sure. Uh, the, you know, the details are all the same. This is the UA 11 and a half insert. This is the 11 insert, which is the retail. Same. Uh, it has the 147 has the 147 on the uh the ua uh the one thing i did know is on the tag of the ua the production date is off the production date for the ua is 9 6 17 to 11 22 17 on the ua it's 10 17 to 12 14 17 so the production date is off there uh, boom, 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 boom. But from there, you know, again, the, the quality of the shoe, uh, the spacing, looking at the, the shoe straight on, Jumpman is saying, um, the tongue is a little bit more, uh, 
oval on the UA, almost like a, a square, versus the retail is more of a circular. But again, you know, if those are small details that you're, you know, those details are something that means something to you, which if it's just for your general use, it's not, you know, a big deal. Uh, but if you're, you know, trying to pull it off at the posing and stuff like that, that that's something that you want to look at. Uh, the Jumpman's a little bit different on the uh, REITs, the UA, um, opposed to the retail, but it's not drastic. I think, if anything, I would say yeah, the uh, Jumpman's a little bit more different on the retail opposed to the UA. Uh, but overall, the, the quality of the shoe is amazing. Um, again, when you look at the front, you see the elephant print is different. Um, actually, if you, I'm wrong, the elephant print on the retail is more, de I mean, on the UA is more defined than it is on the retail. The re retail is uh, just not as dark. Like, this is very dark. I mean, this is very light versus this is a little bit more darker. Um, the spacing. And the amount of dots, everything's the same there. The, the shoe inserts, the shoe, I mean, the lace box, everything. I mean, it's a, it's a good shoe. Uh, on a scale of the 1 through 10, I give it about an 8. Uh, would I pick them up? Yeah. If um, if I couldn't, wasn't able to score the retail, I would definitely pick up uh, the UA. I would not be uh, upset about it at all. But... Overall, um, I personally think that the uh, Jack and his team they did an amazing job on it. Um, I think it's somehow that they should look more into to some of the uh, the shoe modes that that are out there. Um, I think with Nike, it's a little bit more difficult for them to recreate or replicate. Uh, but overall, th it's amazing as far as quality. If you look back in the day at like some of the older Nike. Uh, UA reps, they they've done drastically better. Um, but yeah, uh, if you're asking my opinion, would you pick up a pair from Jack to compare it to the retail? Hell yeah, I would. Especially if you can't, if you're not looking to pay the StockX or a Goat resale price. The resale price for these are going depending on the size you are. I think vary anywhere between like 380 to almost 500, but it, you know, again, it depends on um, where you where you're looking, what's your price point. But uh, if you uh, are interested and wanted to um, pick these up from Jack, you already know what to do. I, I'll tag all his information at the bottom of the video. Any uh, questions or concerns, uh, anything that you want me to do, or possibly. Um, as far as like what any reviews or whatever, just let me know. And, um, I'll be glad to uh, see what I can make happen. And again, it's your boy Solette. Checking out. Peace.